Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 8th of November. Now, this was originally going to go out on the 3rd of November, um, but <laughs> things have happened. So excuse my, excuse me if I have an outbreak of cough. Um, sadly, I have been diagnosed with um, with COVID, so I am self-isolating and have not been overly well the last couple of days. So I thought I'd make an effort to at least get out of bed and do something productive with my day today. So here we are. Uh, the planned Amstrad week is being pushed to this week, so I'm hoping to get more stuff out to you this week. And uh, we're starting this off with Shovel Adventure, which is an absolute diamond of a game uh, from what it looks like. But let's get stuck in. So it's basically a screen by screen game and the idea is to unearth crystals and then once you've unearthed those crystals, uh, you can exit the level. Simple, right? Okay, so we're going to crack on. Um, yeah, so graphically look at it it's great it's like um it's like a cross between Roland uh, and oh mummy isn't it because I had Roland on the ropes and stuff like that it looks a little bit like dangerous as well doesn't it? I suppose Indiana Jones is a great influence here too which is great um, now it's really nice to see a lot of these uh, a lot of these <coughs> sorry a lot of these uh, these these homebrew games coming thick and fast and especially for the, um, the competitions that are on uh, for the uh, developers to get in there and submit their games and uh, see how they do in these comps anyway um, so yeah it's it's actually very fun at the moment um, so you, your control mechanisms are really simple it's up down left right and then your fire button digs holes great stuff um, and you've probably already seen there that I can bury my my uh, the, the bad guys in the holes now you gotta be careful because if you fall into the hole you also will lose a life so don't be tempted to try and hide in the holes that you create because it'll kill you <laughs> basically so don't be tempted to try and hide from the mummies um, you can see it in the score in the top left there, you've got lives next to that, which is quite generous, but trust me, uh, you're probably going to, well, I will probably lose quite a lot of those in quick succession, you know what I'm like. Uh, there you go, I've lost one already. Um, I really must stop cursing myself like that. Never mind. Let's see if that guy will fall in. Uh, there you go, he's got his eyes peeking out there. And as soon as you uh, kill one, or bury one alive, I suppose they're not really alive, are they? They're mummies, they're kind of already dead, but uh, there we are. Um... You can walk over them as well. Once you've uh, once you've got them in the hole, you can uh, use them as a platform, which is quite good fun. Um, you can see them as well. You've got your time left, how many crystals you've got left to collect, and whatever power-ups you might have um, obtained uh, as you go along, which is quite nice. Um, so you've got you have to excuse my incessant sniffing. It's 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 really irritated me. So I'm hoping it won't irritate you too much. Now these snakes appear not to take any notice of the holes that you uh, dig, so I'm not quite sure how they're managing to float over them. But uh, never mind. I suppose I suppose it adds another element to the game's danger rating, doesn't it? Really, in that respect, we, you know, you've got to avoid them rather than sort of bury them, which is going to be fun when we get snakes and mummies in the same level. But uh, there we go. We will, we will deal with it, ladies and gents. We will deal with it. Um, but it's a lot of fun. The controls are very responsive as well, though, by the way, uh, which is nice. We've got a speed up power up now, and you can see next to the power up there uh, is a timer. That's how long your power up has left before it will expire. So there we go. Yes, um, I'm thoroughly British there for a moment. Not sure why, but uh, yeah. Damn, it's good to be back reviewing again. Um, I do, like I said, I do apologise, but you know, when you when you're feeling rough as bags, you can't really do much. And um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say, if you if you've had COVID, you know exactly what it's like. I'm double vaccinated personally, so I can only imagine how bad it is if you don't. Um, but if you happen to have it, it's vile. So please if you haven't vaccinated do it it's not a conspiracy theory please and I'm not getting into that in the comments so if you put any derogatory comments I will be removing them and I've just fallen into a into a hole great fun anyway we're going to try and uh, get these last three things we need the, the uh, speed boost would have been a good one right here because we're up against the clock you can see that we've got 26 seconds left now um, and we've got that much time to be able to get through the level so um, but this is such a playable game and it's just so much fun um, it's it's just nice to see some new blood coming to the Amstrad Spectrum C64 and others yes I don't know the guy from the X Factor then it's time to face the gaming yes so there we go um, level 5 now 
So the, the, it's really nice as well because it doesn't actually, uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't sort of cane you with difficulty straight away. Uh, it gives you that fighting chance to get to learn the game, and uh, then it will throw some serious poo at you. Uh, but then. That's how games should be. It should be nice and playable, nice and fanciful, lovely and light to start with. And then, you know, everything else. But, you know, it's a fairly simple game to pick up and play as well, which is always a good thing. So when it comes to playability, it's absolutely up there with the best of them. So a uh, big, massive well done to the developers, by the way. Uh, the Pat Morita Studios. Well done. This is a cracking game. I think I've, I've reviewed other games by them as well, which is great. Um... It just makes you hungry for more. So I'm going to be researching a few more games to uh, to add to this list this week. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I've got a bit more. I've got some time on my hands now, so I should be able to uh, at least ramp up some games this week for you folks. Um, and it's all Amstrad this week, which is which is nice because you know what the Amstrad doesn't have as much. Um, publicity as it deserves it's it's one of those machines it was up against the spectrum which sounds really weird because the Amstrad has got a good color palette um, but I always found the spectrum slightly better uh, in the fact that yes we had color clash but you know at the end of the day sometimes the colors can be a bit distracting I've I always found that with the Amstrad games but I don't know why but um, I, I think I, I, I don't know I just found that the spectrum graphics were cleaner but it's just strange because a lot of the Spectrum games were Amstrad games that had been uh, ported over to the Spectrum. I think the Dizzy series was actually uh, started on the Amstrad and then they got uh, ported over to the to the Spectrum. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is this is just such fun. This this really does give the Amstrad a bit more props. Um, like like we had the the other day with uh, Puzzle Bobble. I mean that that's how an Amstrad game should look. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, uh, a majority of what you could get on the Spectrum, you could get on the Amstrad, you could get on the uh, C64, and uh, you know, and, and the Amiga as well in certain ports. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get that. Uh, get that. Go on, fall in my hole. Excuse, <laughs> said the uh, said the, the actress to the bishop. Um, so, but it's it is very much very much a fun game and I think you know this this is a family game that you could play all together um, and uh, uh, it's one player but make it multiplayer you know if you lose a life pass pass the uh, joystick over to someone else and let them have a go uh, failing that you could do time trials and all sorts of other things you know I like my uh, multiplayer aspects of games if they're one player make a multiplayer it works quite well um, Oh, I do apologise. Sorry, that wasn't very nice, was it? Um, <clears throat> I don't have any control over this at the moment. Sorry, um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, this this is this is great. If you've got a, if you've got some time off, and uh, you know, if you're if you're battling illness like I am, these games are absolutely brilliant for just pepping you up a bit and boosting your morale, which is great. Um, I just wish I didn't feel quite so pants. So I'm giving you as much energy as I can today in this in this review. It's a game over, folks, but we're going to have another go because it's it's that damn good. So, um, yeah, so it says player there, so I think that's our score at the bottom. Um, I mean, you can tell it's Indiana Jones influence because of the, the text of Shovel Adventure, which is great. And uh, I just love the main character. The animations are quirky. I like that. The the um, You can see that, you know, he's got his hat on and all sorts of stuff. And the mummies are great as well. Got to say, a lot of uh, a lot of thought went into this, and uh, it's, it's it shows. So, uh, what's the replay value like? Well, the replay value is what it is. It's basically just fun, fun, fun. You're going to put this back in your Amstrad and play, or failing that, load up load up an emulator and have a go at home yourself without the need for actual hardware. But it does work on actual hardware. Woohoo! So if you've got an Amstrad uh, kicking around, then load it up. I will put a link to the uh, developer's website so you can go and download this yourself. Please support them as well if you enjoy the game. Bung them a couple of quid. It doesn't cost a lot, um, you know, and it, and it shows appreciation for the developers. So thank you very much if you have donated anything to the developer's websites on indie games that I have uh, previously shown you guys. Um, I'm not going to be able to get that now. I'm going to fall in, aren't I? Uh, yeah, you see, you got to be careful. You got to be careful because if you if you uh, put a hole in the wrong place, oh no! Uh, if you put a hole in the wrong place, then you're going to fall down it without any. You can't get out of the way of it. So 
just be aware that these things will happen, can happen, and probably will happen. Haha, <laughs> so there. Um, I like the fact you've got multiple power-ups, so this one is freezing time, so that the, uh, the mummies can't get us. Uh, it gives us a little bit of breathing space, and it's always funny to watch them fall. No, it's not funny to watch me fall! Uh, oh, no, never mind. Anyway. Concentration isn't a thing of mine today, but never mind. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the review. And uh, sound-wise, I forgot, I forgot sound. It's great sound. Listen, we've got little music tracks. Uh, the, uh, each level has a different different soundtrack, which is cool. It's almost the da 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 da. Thank you very much. I'll uh, not be on X Factor next year. Um, but uh, yeah, there. So you've got a nice soundtrack. You've got cool little sound effects. You've basically got a great game, a great package for free, or go and give them a bit of money because they deserve it. They really, really do. Because if they're bringing out games like this on their own time, they deserve it. They deserve your support as fans. And I'm hoping that as a review, this will push out uh, a little bit more of their product and uh, oh god sound like drug dealers um hopefully it'll push out the, the uh it'll give them a bit more prominence i think is the word i was looking for or exposure <laughs> even though that's a dodgy word too <laughs> oh, excuse me sorry guys but um yes I will leave it there, I think, because uh, I'm going to give you guys a bit more of this with the sound turned up a little bit more so you can actually appreciate the music and the sound effects. Um, I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and some rest. I will be back hopefully very soon with a brand new one. If you don't see me for a while, then you know why. Um, but I'm going to try and keep myself as busy as po 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 possible. And um, I'll see you guys very soon. So until next time, folks, as usual, it's bye for now. And uh, you keep it retro. And, uh, well, that's it. Uh, Ta-da! Ta-da!
Transmission.